I know putting on the compression stockings can be hard and daunting. And if you're elderly and struggle with your grip strength or weak hands, not able to touch your toes, it's even become daunting. No worries, my friend, I got you covered. I have some tools which are reasonably priced and some tips that can make this impossible task like a no big deal. Disclaimers, the gadgets and the tools I'm gonna to be showing you in this video, I have no affiliations with them, but I will share a link below to make it easier for you to find what you're looking for. But I don't get any, I don't make any money if you buy them or not. If you don't know me, I am Dipti Patel. I'm a physical therapist for 20 years and also a certified lymph edema therapist. I'm known as a smart functional fitness in the online world. So here are the tools I will be using today to put our compression stockings. So first I have the butler, that's a frame. And there are many gadgets out there, but I like the butler the best because it's so far it's the easiest and most of my patients, my clients feel comfortable using it. There is a small frame one so if your size is small or a medium or size one to four, you might just get fine with the small butler. But if you have a big swollen legs or your foot gets stuck in the small frame, I would consider the big, uh, the big butler. And big butler has extended arms compared to the, uh, compared to the small ones. You can see the handlebars are longer that gives you the better reach. So that's a butler. And then here I have is the pretty much called uh, sag ease remover. And if you have seen, if, uh, some people call it a long shoehorn. And I will be showing you how to use that one to take the sock off. And this is just a pair of garden gloves. This is made by a company called Maddie, but you can just go to a hardware stores and just get any kind of, uh, of the um, garden gloves. They have a grip, they have a texture in the middle and that just gives you the better grip to hold on your stocking so you're not picking, and, um, picking up the fabric. That helps the fabric, also it helps your strength and you're not struggling as much. All right. So I'll be showing you how to put this uh, compression stocking on. I have high, high compression here and I will be using our small, uh, small butler. So put the butler on a table so the back part is facing you, okay? Now take a sock and find the heel. So the heel is right here. This heel will come on the back of the frame and will land right here. So once you figure that out, you just go to turn the sock upside, uh, inside out and just start, uh, start putting it on the top of the frame and just keep going till you see the heel. Right there is my heel. So right here is the heel. And then make sure you put your fingers inside and the, and the fabric is straightened out and not crumbled in. And now you're ready to go to put this on. So the next step after that, that you wanna bring this butler on the floor. Now I recommend a chair for a balance. Here, just in case if you need it. Now here is the tip I really want you to pay attention to. I want you to raise your knee high, as high as you can, and point your toes down. If you struggle, you hold for a balance, and you point your toes down like a ballerina. Keep going down, 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 till your heel touches the floor. Then drag a butler with you, and sit down in a chair behind you. Now take the handlebars, Pull a little and let go a little. Don't just do one jerk, big, heavy pull. Just go little by little and just pull it up. 
Once you feel like this is it, I got it as far as it goes. Take the frame out and straighten out, pull it up as far as you can. Now I know it doesn't look good at all, does it? No worries. Your garden gloves will come in handy. So put your gloves on. And then I want you to cross your foot over and start with working with your toes. So find it. Now you don't have to pick like this. I want you to just slide your hands and find where just adjust the fabric, adjust the sock where it's supposed to be. Now it's very sticky here. So what I'm gonna do, just pull it up from the top here. Now go on the bottom and really grab a hold of, these socks are too big for me actually. And that's why it's giving me a hard time. It slides when I, I don't have a good, uh, it just comes off when I try to pull on it. So just come off like that. I know it's on top of my pants, but just smooth out the fabric like this. Got it? Now let's talk about how to take this off. So for a thigh high compressions, first you want to take it down below the knee. Just wrap it down. So I'm going to end right here. Now in the southeast, you have a little grip right here. So you want to put the sock on and hook that grip on the outside of the sock. One thing, mis one, quite a few people make this mistake that they push too close to the skin and it hurts. So make sure you keep it away from you and away from the skin. You don't want to hurt yourself. So push it down, 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 down. Go either outside or inside of the foot and just push it down. It's okay. Now it landed here. Just find that fabric right there. Push it down and push under the heel and go out like this. And that's it. You have to practice this several times, maybe about three, four times to get, get it going. The more you always practice makes things, things perfect. At the same time, you will know you wanna work with this, your right arm, you wanna work on the inside of the foot or you wanna work on your outside of the foot and which system works the best. So don't give up. Keep trying. The descriptions below for the additional resources. And also comment below, does this video make it any easier for you to uh, put your stockings on and off? And don't forget to subscribe.